what are the 10 best Godzilla designs? Yeah, that's the question, and yeah, I know it's subjective. Everyone has their own pick and their own favorite Godzilla incarnations. But what are actually the best based on three things? Size, having a scary or a fearsome appearance, and a proper body part size proportions. That is, appearing to be realistic without diving in too much into the fantasy realm. Well, let's take a look at our picks. At number 10, we have Godzilla Earth. This is the biggest Godzilla that has ever graced the screens. He is here on the top 10 list mainly due to his size and his great range of powers. But his body proportions, however, are not exactly that realistic, meaning his arms, tail and legs, as well as the upper torso, is greatly divergent from a Godzilla that we think of. He also doesn't seem to bring out any horror element, something which is actually lacking but mainly due to him being in an animated movie rather than a live action one. Number 9. Godzilla Millennium This Godzilla Millennium from 1999 is small in size, relatively speaking that is. He is 55 meters or 180 feet tall. He is indeed scary looking with a mouth full of salt like teeth and his skin texture is spiky. His downsides however are the oversized pinkish dorsal place which appears to be crystalline in nature. Otherwise, he has an okay body design, and that's why he's on, still on the top 10 list. Another feature that puts this Goji lower down on the list is his skin texture, which has kind of a dark green hue or a highlight which is greatly divergent from the traditional coloration which is black or grey. Number 8. Godzilla GMK This Godzilla is the reincarnation of the mascot souls of World War II and he is the only version that has a supernatural origin story. He is small in size, but scary as fuck, with whitish, pupil-less eyes and a mouth full of salt-like teeth with two distinct upper canines that make him look like a saber-toothed cat. Other than that, he has an okay body proportion, with the legs, arms and tail being in proper order and not so freakishly large or small in ratio to the torso. Number 7. Godzilla Tokyo SOS Also known as Kiryu Goji, this design is a great improvement over the earlier 2000 millennium version. The head was completely changed and made smaller to the point of resembling the head of the Heisei Godzilla. The dorsal fins were reduced a bit and lost their purplish hue, retaining the classic bone white coloration. He was made to be a bit bigger at 60 meters or 200 feet tall and has now retained the charcoal black skin color. All these changes, as well as the animatronics included in his head, allowed him for some facial expressions of surprise, shock or anger, thus pushing up the list to number 7. Number 6. Heisei Godzilla The first of the Heisei era Godzilla designs has a good size of around 80 meters or 262 feet tall and grew to be 100 meters at the end of the era. He doesn't appear to be so scary at first, but then he became scary by the time he faced Destroyer. But then, as per our standards, in the 1980s, I suspected that he was scary to the people back then. He has an okay body design, meaning body parts were all in line with a Godzilla that we think of, but the head was way too big to give off a menacing look at first. Otherwise, that was also changed by the time he faced Destroyer in 1995. His later improved body that was seen in Versus Destroyer seems to have corrected all that was lacking in the 1984 form. He is in fact what most of us think when we hear the word Godzilla. Number 5. Shin Godzilla This ever-evolving Godzilla is truly a unique take on the Kaiju. In his fourth form, he possesses the size of around 118.5 meters or around 390 feet. He has a black reddish skin coloration which changed from his earlier um, lesser darker tones. He also has relatively smaller dorsal plates. He is scary as hell though, especially with that face that seems to be some sort of a Lovecraftian creature if you think about it. But then again, due to his very unique design, his body parts were greatly out of ratio. For example, the tail was extra long and has some sort of demonic looking end that can also shoot the atomic breath. And the hands are tiny relative to the body or the torso, otherwise, without those, Without these changes, Shin Godzilla would have easily topped the list. At number 4, we have the original Godzilla of 1954. So the original Godzilla should logically be the benchmark to set the scales. 
He is the primogenitor of all the other Godzilla designs since without him, there won't be any other ones, and he was the first one. Although appearing scary as hell back in the day in 1954, he was still a man in a suit and this OG design can be thought of as a prototype, meaning that enhancements and improvements were imminent as the time passes by. He is small at 50 meters or 165 feet in height and comes in black and white. Number 3. The Monsterverse Godzilla So the Titan is Gojira Titan here is obviously one of the biggest in size, coming first at 108 meters or 355 feet tall in 2014 and then grew to be 120 meters or 393 feet tall in the sequels of KOTM and GVK. His overall design looks scary, especially in GVK with the glowing atomic energy that seems to be seeping out from his body, from every pore in his body. The dorsal plates of the 2014 version were straight and jagged, while the latter ones were more maple leaf in design, which was an improvement, I might say. But then again, he doesn't really have that horror element in him, while the plus points are the ratio of the body parts to his torso, which are awesome, uh, at least we can all agree to that if we ignore the Pinkzilla form that will be seen in the next year's GXK movie. Number 2. Godzilla Minus One The most recent Godzilla to appear in the big screens breaks records wherever he is seen, and he is here in the second spot as well. It isn't just the storyline and the movie plot that makes this Godzilla Minus One to top the charts and be awesome. It is also his scary design which I might say, along with Shin Godzilla is the scariest of them all. He has a perfect body with thick legs, slender arms ending in a talon-like claws and a deadly tail with a row of dorsal plates that simply cry out death and destruction. His face gives everyone the chills, being both animalistic and sinister at the same time, which can be animated to portray his dark emotions. If not for the smaller size, which is just 0.1 meters taller than the OG, he would have been at the number one spot. And number one. Godzilla from Final Wars, my favorite of all time and I'm honest enough to say that him being at the top of the list is a bit biased really, but let me justify it. He has an awesome size of 100 meters or 328 feet in height, bigger than most other Godzillas and bigger than Godzilla minus one as well. He's also scary as hell, taking elements from the earlier Heisei and GMK designs and incorporating them perfectly. He has an angry demeanor, appearing to be indifferent to all kaijus and even humanity as well. Therefore, he can be thought of as the epitome of the Godzilla character. His arms, legs and tails are also created to make him look powerful and athletic as well. But that's what I think personally, that's why he's the best here. But be free to write down your own list in the comments section below. So that's the end of the video. Now if you like this one, then watch this other one as well. And do check out our channel as we might have most of us things and guide you things that you haven't seen before. Like, subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Take care fam.